outside. We are flirting with the 50s, the 50s this week. As you heard, Mary Kay joins us now, rejoins us. This is downright wacky for late December, especially after November was a complete whiteout. Exactly, and it was so cold in November, and now December, we've had so many days in the 40s, a good dozen days in the 40s. Tomorrow, we're stepping into the 50s, but rain arrives light tonight, but windy and wet tomorrow with winds gusting to 30 miles per hour. We're on the mild side of the system for one more day, then we're turning colder as we reach into the weekend. Live look outside now. Clouds have made their way in, but not that cool air. 42 degrees right now. Winds are out of the east at at nine miles per hour. So here it is. Low pressure pulling out of the Texas Panhandle is going to push a lot of moisture to the north and east. It's actually grabbing that moisture from the Gulf of Mexico, so that's helping to enhance the rain and the thunderstorm activity we have tonight from Wichita to Oklahoma City. Now, well ahead of it, the cloud deck is here, and soon the rain will arrive. Maybe a sprinkle in the western suburbs this evening, but I do think after midnight we have a better chance to see that light rain move in. As you step over the border into Iowa, some of it wants to mix with light snow. So let's paint it out tonight for future cast. Cloudy skies this evening by 10 o'clock, maybe a sprinkle, but otherwise clouds and 39 degrees. The midnight hours when we see things really start to move in and by daybreak, scattered rain in the western suburbs lining up. It's pulling through Chicago by noon, 43 degrees at that time. Winds out of the south southeast at 18. They may gust though to 30 miles per hour and then on and off showers throughout the afternoon as highs reach into the lower 50s. What about rain and Amounts. Well, a quarter inch of rain is certainly possible. Maybe some spots seeing up to a half inch, depending on if you get any repeating rains in the same place. So while Thursday we're on the mild wet side of the system, it's windy too. Then we see low pressure lift over Wisconsin Thursday night. Into Friday, the snow is wrapped close to the low pressure center. I don't think we're going to get a lot of snow from the system at all, but we'll probably hold the cloud deck on Friday. So we'll call it mostly cloudy. So for tonight, we see light rain arrive 30 eight degrees for your low temperature and then for the daytime hours. And remember 32 is our normal high going to 53 with rain and wind and those southeasterly winds really picking up. So keep that umbrella handy or better yet the rain gear just because of those winds. It'll be hard to hold on to that umbrella. So the front passes and on Friday that's our transition when we start dropping into the 40s. I think we'll see this 42 degree high early in the day and then we bring temperatures back to reality for the weekend on Saturday 32. That's our normal high, but then we start rising rising on Sunday 37, but I think the good part of all of this is that Saturday and Sunday look dry and quiet at this point, Rob. We're just going to have to deal with some windy and wet weather tomorrow. Yeah, New Year's Day looks more like winter. Exactly, kind of where we should be. Yes, all right, thanks, Mary Kay.